Hi guys, welcome to this very special interview. I am going to talk to Takumi, a real IELTS student. Guys, the first time he took IELTS, he was like getting 4.5 and 5, all right? Then the second time he increased his IELTS scores by two whole band points. He went from a 4.5 to a 6.5 in his writing. Guys, listen up and find out how he increased his IELTS scores by such amazing amounts. And if you're wondering, what would you get on IELTS? Would you get a 4.5 or a 6.5? You can find out, take our free short quiz and get your estimated IELTS band score, guys. Right now, go to allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz. All right, guys, let's get into the interview. Hello, IELTS Energy listeners. We have a special guest today, and I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into it. So... Takumi, can you introduce yourself, please? Okay, my name is Takumi, and uh, yeah, I joined Suriki's Island about five months ago. Okay, all right. So tell us, Takumi, why did you join Three Keys IELTS? Um, when I listened to the podcast, so Three Keys, uh, Three Energy podcast, and I found the Three Keys IELTS, so and I decided to choose the three keys because you are the ex-examiner, so I can trust you. Yep. Okay. Now, why did you think you needed an IELTS course? I mean, here, let me rephrase that question. How many times did you take the IELTS exam? Uh, I took twice and about five months, uh, no, six months ago. I took first try, first uh, IELTS. Okay. And now, how did you prepare for that first IELTS exam? Um, I studied a little bit the words of IELTS, so vocabulary and uh, grammar. That's all. What do you mean you studied the vocabulary and grammar for IELTS? Like, what wh what what does that mean? What sort of resources did you use the first time? Uh, in Japan, there is a book of the vocabulary for IELTS, and I memorized the, about two uh, two two thousand words. Now, how how does that help you? Um, it's uh, it a little bit helped me because I don't know the vocabulary, so I couldn't read the article of reading. Or yeah, so it helped me okay. a lot. Okay, that's just that is crazy to me that there is. I mean, I know there are lots of vocabulary lists out there um but i mean you don't know what the topic is going to be on ielts or like what the passage will be about what the people on the listening test will talk about or what the writing question will be about so like it seems really difficult to put together a list you know what i mean like but if, yeah. you, if you feel like that helped you then that's that's great. Um, what were your scores the first time you took the exam? Yeah, it was awful. And uh, listening and reading was 5.0. And writing and speaking was 4.5. <laughs> okay, so, okay, Takumi, I think my original assumption might be correct that maybe memorizing 2,000 words did not help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> okay, that is so interesting. I feel like, you know... If you are, if you are a good student, now people, audience listening to this podcast, let me tell you that we are also recording this as a video to be on YouTube. And I just put air quotes around good student, right? Um, that like memorizing stuff and taking a test for that stuff is easy, 
right? Like it, it feels easy. And Takumi, yeah. I think you were probably educated in a more traditional way. Whereas like, that's exactly what education means. Like memorizing stuff and then <laughs> spitting it out on a test, right? Like, do you feel yeah. like that's how school was for you? Uh, no, definitely no. Okay. Because, yeah. Uh, I have to know the IELTS because uh, IELTS is different from the Japanese traditional exam. Right. So, <laughs> totally different. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just want to highlight this because like um, that, that feels like the easy way to prepare for a lot of students, but it is not a good way to prepare. <laughs> like <laughs> that doesn't work for IELTS. Okay, so let me let me just repeat these first scores that you got because I mean, listeners, you know that Takumi is here because he got amazing scores recently. So before we get to those amazing scores, I want to just repeat the original scores, right? So listening five, reading five, writing and speaking 4.5. Okay, now Takumi, time to be proud. Tell us what your, okay. <laughs> what were your recent scores on the exam? Um, listening was 7.0 and reading and writing was 6.5 and speaking 6.0. Oh my gosh, your <laughs> scores increased by crazy amounts. Okay, so let's take this step by step now, Takumi. Okay. Now, if you think about how you prepared the first time, right? How did you prepare differently the second time? Like, how, how, how did you manage this crazy increase? Uh, okay, uh, the first thing's is uh, as I said before, I I knew I, I could knew I could know the IELTS well because you are the ex examiner, so you know the IELTS very well. So I could know the IELTS, and because of that, I can study more efficiently before that before. Okay, so you mean like study more efficiently i i think you might mean like getting more done in a time saving way like whatever time you are spending studying you know that it's helping your score yes <laughs> yeah for sure okay so let's take this bit by bit let's try and think of a very um uh, succinct takeaway for our listeners so listening for example, right? The listening test. Now you increase that score by two whole BAM points. What do you think made that difference for you? Uh, first thing is, um, yeah, you, you told me that I have to expect the answer of nice. the, yeah, I was listening. So that, we, that, we, that helped me a lot. That's so awesome. I love the way that you phrased that. Um, you have to expect the answer. That is such a great way of describing it. Yeah. So like, guys, all Takumi is talking about is predicting being active as a listener. So before you listen, you are thinking about what to expect. That's, I love, I love describing it like that. Um, on test day, Listening is the first section that happens, right? Um, were yes. you very nervous before the test started? Yes, I'm. I was very nervous at the time, but uh, yeah, I I said uh, in my mind, I can do it many times, so that relieved my nervousness. Yes, that's fantastic. So you um you had some mental strategies going yeah. in as well, right? So yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not just about English. I mean, it's <laughs> not, right? Um, yeah. This test taking skills, these, this anxiety management. So I like that you had a positive mental strategy, like just, just repeat to yourself, you got this, you could do this. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, so 
do you have any resource recommendations for improving listening? So like we've talked about a strategy that will help our, our students, right? Like think about what to expect as far as listening answers, but were there any resources you used that helped you improve your listening? Yeah, definitely. Um, actually, I love the I love listening to the rap music. So. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I uh, often listen to the English rap music. So, yeah, it, it was fun, and I could keep doing that. So. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Who is your favorite rapper or hip hop artist? Um, yeah, many, uh, but uh, I love J. Cole. Okay. Uh, Juice <laughs> World. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm just asking that in case it helps our listeners because I don't know anything about rap okay. music. I mean, I I still have some favorite hip hop artists from like the 1990s, you know, like a, like Tribe Called Quest, for example. Like I love them, <laughs> but I don't know anything about new people. So, okay, I'm glad you do. Um, guys, there are two things I want to highlight here though, as far as like the importance of what Takumi just said. First of all, guys, if you want to improve your English for IELTS, you have to find ways to enjoy it. That's why, I mean, even our IELTS lectures in the course, I try to make them enjoyable because if you can enjoy what you're doing, you're learning more. That's it. It's just like saving time, right? Like how do we get information into our brains quicker? <laughs> and actually remember it. So I love it. I love it. Okay. You love rap music. That's fantastic. Um, okay. And then let's move on to reading. We're just going to take this section by section. What is one reading tip you can give our listeners for IELTS? Uh, it's definitely the scamming and skinning, uh, skimming and scanning. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before I knew that I couldn't finish I couldn't finish the IELTS reading section because it's take it took me a lot of time to solve it. Yeah. But uh, by using skimming and scanning, I could improve my uh, the reading score. Okay, tell us what is skimming and scanning, Takumi. Okay. Uh, the skimming is the uh, the strategy to to know about the article of the reading and the scanning is used to find the answer. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just reading fast, right? Just, you know, really, it, I mean, I, I always say, you know, like there's no magic key or like, IELTS hack or, you know, like really easy shortcut to getting high scores. But like, I feel like reading is a slight exception to that because these reading strategies, they are shortcuts. Like that's literally what they are. And you have to have these shortcuts or you're not going to finish on time. Like there's no way that you could find all 40 answers in 60 minutes. I mean, there's too many words, like it's too hard. Yeah. So yeah, like you really do need these shortcuts. Now, did you, did you feel confident that you were going to get such high scores? I mean, like going into the exam your second time, um, thinking about what you got the first time were were you confident that you were actually going to increase by that much yes definitely awesome because i have uh, such a uh, strategy so yeah i thought i could improve my english uh, ielts score okay that's so cool. All right. Now, lastly, I want to touch on the writing because two whole band point increase is insane. Like it, it's it, like, it seriously <laughs> is insane. Um, guys, it is possible, right? Like we're talking to a person right now that did it. So increasing writing by two whole band points. How did you manage that? Uh, okay. Uh, first three, I know, uh, yeah, I could know the template is good to use, but some people, some teachers say, say says 
Um, yeah, if you use the template, you lose your uh, the IELTS one score. But <laughs> it's wrong. It's so wrong. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you hear that from somebody? Like, did a teacher tell you that that would hurt your score if you used a template? Yes, uh, in Japan. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. So did you, at first, did you doubt the three keys advice? Yes, um, I doubt, but <laughs> uh, if, um, no, uh, yeah. Uh, when I doubt the three keys strategy, I ask many people and yeah, some people say it's true. So you should trust. <laughs> The three keys are yours. Just trust the system, you guys. Let me explain what that mix up is, right? Because, like, it is true that you can lose points on writing if you are just spitting out memorized sentences and memorized phrases that don't make any sense, or it's obvious that these ideas are not yours that you like just memorized a bunch of stuff, right? Now, that's not what the templates do. Like, guys, what is a writing template? I'm not telling you what ideas to write because I can't, I don't know what the question is gonna be. I don't know what the topic is gonna be. So it's not the same, right? Like, yeah, if you memorize a whole essay, and write it, it's, you're going to score horribly, <laughs> obviously, for so many reasons. Um, guys, a template is there to tell you how to transition between ideas. It's basically a map, right? Like use these linking phrases and put the, these kind of ideas here. Like this is where an example goes. This is where a reason goes. So guys, that's how natives learn to write essays as well. Like I'm not giving you an a whole essay to memorize. I'm telling you like memorize this essay map and then, and then put your own ideas and words in there. Um, so, okay. I love it. Um, well, I'm really glad you trusted us and then, uh, got that 6.5 <laughs> in writing. That's yeah. awesome. Now, um, if we could have any sort of last kind of words of wisdom, last minute advice for people listening today, who are going to take their IELTS exam and maybe, maybe they have already taken it once or twice or three times or 10 times and their scores are still not where, what they need. Takumi, what would you tell those students? Um, okay, uh, as I said before, the, yeah, we should learn with a fun. So for example, I love to watch the YouTube, but uh, yeah, before I taking the IELTS, I used to watch YouTube in Japan Japanese, but I oh. changed in English. Nice. So yeah, it was great strategy maybe. Yes, that's fantastic. Takumi, what do you enjoy watching on YouTube in English? Uh, I love tech, so. Um, yeah, I, I recently watched the YouTube of the Apple Watch and MacBook. Oh, okay. So like tech product reviews type yeah. things? Ah, okay. That's awesome. No, guys. Oh my gosh. No matter what you're into, you can find a YouTube channel that will be fascinating for you in English. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like my son, for example, he loves scootering. Like, you know, that, not skateboarding. He, he likes skateboarding too, but riding mm. a scooter, you know, like that's his favorite thing. And so there are like a couple famous pro scooter people on YouTube that he follows. And like, he will watch any video with these guys. Um, but it, the point is guys, like, it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're into. You could find good quality YouTube channels in English that will fascinate you. And here's the thing, like, why is it so important to enjoy what you're watching, what you're hearing, what you're reading? Here's the main thing guys. So you can forget that you're studying. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. like you have to take that out of your, your mind frame. So you are 
at the end of the day, you want to be experiencing English like a native. And Takumi, like this is what you're doing. Listening to rap music, watching like tech review videos. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like that's totally what a native speaker would be doing in English. Um, <laughs> all right, Takumi. So tell us, what are you going to do with these scores now? Um, uh, yeah, I could, I could go to the Malaysian university. So okay, yeah. what Next do you year. want to study? Uh, computer science. So awesome. I study computer science. That is so fantastic. Um, one last question, Takumi. I, I love asking this question and I forget sometimes, but I'm glad I remembered. If you think about all the time you were spending studying for IELTS before, right? Because it is like a part-time job. Like it's a lot to do. <laughs> what are you doing with all that time now that you're done with IELTS? Uh, yeah, I'm studying actually the Python that is the programming and I love that one. So, okay. And yeah, I'm really excited to go to Malaysia because the bright future is waiting for me. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Takumi, thank you so much for agreeing to have this conversation with me today and also have it put on YouTube. Thank you so much for sharing yourself, your time, and your experience with us. Okay, thank you. All right, Takumi. Um, good luck in Malaysia. And thanks again. And enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Thanks. Bye.